What if I told you that a new airplane built in China could one day replace the Boeing 747 and the Airbus A380, the two most legendary giants ever to rule the skies? Sounds impossible, right? But this isn't a wild guess or a science fiction dream. It's real, and it's happening right now. A nation once known for copying Western technology is now designing something that could redefine global aviation. Stay with me until the end, because what you're about to hear might just rewrite the future of how the world flies. And it all begins with one name, the Comac C939. Now, think about this. If China can build high-speed trains, space stations, and electric cars faster than anyone expected, what's stopping them from conquering the skies next? For nearly half a century, Boeing and Airbus have ruled the world skies. The Boeing 747, the queen of the skies, carried generations across oceans. The Airbus A380 redefined luxury and size, creating an experience like no other. But time caught up. Both aircraft are now retired. The production lines are silent. Experts even said the age of jumbo jets was officially over. But in the East, something unexpected is happening. A new challenger has arrived not from Seattle or Toulouse, but from Shanghai. It's a bold vision born from Comac, China's state-owned aircraft maker. After building smaller jets like the ARJ-21 and the C919, Comac is now reaching for something far greater, the C939. And this aircraft isn't just another plane. It's a statement a national mission, fueled by billions of dollars determined to break the West's monopoly on large passenger jets. China doesn't just want to join the game. It wants to rewrite the rules. Think of it this way. If Boeing and Airbus have been playing a decades-long tennis match, China just walked onto the court with a brand new racket and a look that says, Mind if I serve? To understand how China got here, we have to go back a few decades. For years, Chinese airlines depended entirely on Western jets. Boeing and Airbus supplied nearly every plane in the country's fleet. But in the early 2000s, Beijing made a bold decision to build its own aircraft industry from scratch. Their first attempt was the ARJ-21, a small regional jet. It wasn't a global success, but it was a vital first step a chance to learn how to design, test, and certify a real commercial aircraft. Then came the C919, China's first large passenger jet, built to rival the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. When it entered service in 2023, it marked a turning point. With more than 1,300 orders mostly from Chinese airlines, but with growing international interest, the C919 proved one thing. China could build a safe, modern jetliner that truly works. Next came the C929, a wide-body jet designed to connect Beijing to New York or Shanghai to London without refueling. This aircraft, expected to fly by the middle of this decade, challenges the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350 directly. It showed that China wasn't just thinking regional anymore. It was thinking global. But for a nation of 1.4 billion people and the world's second largest economy, that still wasn't enough. China wanted something even more iconic, a modern replacement for the 747 itself. That dream is now taking shape as the C-939. Early reports say it could carry more than 400 passengers over 8,000 miles nonstop from Beijing to Los Angeles or Shanghai to London. And here's the surprise. It's a twin-engine design. That's right, only two engines for a super jumbo this big. Wait, two engines? For a plane that massive? Yes and no. They didn't forget the other two in the factory. Modern engines have become incredibly powerful. Models like the GE9X and Rolls-Royce Trent XWB generate so much thrust that four engines are no longer necessary. Comac plans to develop its own powerhouse, the CJ3000, capable of producing up to 45 tons of thrust each. If China can make that work, it will join one of the most elite clubs in the world, the club that builds its own high-performance jet engines. So why go for two engines instead of four? Efficiency. Twin-engine jets are lighter, cheaper to maintain, and burn far less fuel. Airlines love them because they cut operating costs by more than 20%. They're also cleaner and quieter, which makes regulators happy. 
And with modern reliability standards, even if one engine fails, the other can safely power the plane for hours. But of course, building a super jumbo like this isn't easy. It's one of the hardest engineering challenges on Earth. Developing advanced composite materials, ensuring structural strength, and meeting strict global certification rules take decades. Boeing and Airbus took over 50 years to perfect this craft. China wants to do it in less than 20. Still, progress is coming fast. With government backing, global partnerships, and deep funding, China is closing the gap at record speed. The C-939 is expected to take its first flight in the early 2030s and could enter service around 2039. That might sound far away, but in aviation time, that's practically tomorrow. If China succeeds, it will become only the third power in history after the United States and Europe to design and build a modern super jumbo jet entirely on its own. And that would change everything. The market, the balance of power, and the future of flight itself. Because this isn't just about technology. It's about strategy. In a world where sanctions and trade wars can disrupt supply chains overnight, relying on Western planes is a risk. China wants aviation independence the ability to fly no matter what happens geopolitically. Of course, Boeing and Airbus aren't standing still. Boeing's new 777X and Airbus's advanced A350 are pushing the limits of fuel efficiency and design. But for the first time ever, they're not just competing with each other, they're competing with China. For airlines, that's a good thing. More competition means better prices and more options. And for passengers, it could mean cheaper tickets, new routes, and more comfortable travel. And here's the irony. Ten years from now, you might board a Comac jet on a flight to New York, sipping coffee and watching an American movie on a plane built in Shanghai. The world changes fast. As the Comac C-939 prepares to take flight, one thing is certain. The skies will never look the same again. The age of Western dominance in aviation is fading and a new chapter, written in the East, is about to begin. So fasten your seatbelts, because the future of flying is changing, and it's getting ready for departure for Shanghai.